Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. Warning before I kick off this video, it is not suitable for work. We're going to be dealing with an exposed 3D model. So now you guys know, now let's get into things. So uh, what we're going to take a look at here today is adding butt bones to a DAZ skeleton. That is uh, especially helpful if you're trying to create jiggle physics. Now I did a uh, video on jizz, 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 jiggles, jiggle, fizzle, jiggle physics for uh, for boobs. Uh, you can check that out on the channel. So we got those. Uh, this is going to be jiggle physics for butt. But what you need to do is get some butt bones in order for this to basically work. Basically, jiggle physics <clears throat> need a bone to sort of hang off of. Need to sort of uh, uh, anchor against, right? And so uh, DAS models have those bones for for the for the boobs, but they do not have these bones for the uh, butt. So now I have done. Uh, done it here and I can show you how it's working here so you guys can see what we're actually working working on here and as you can see we've got some we've got a jiggly butt that's what we got there um, now I haven't uh, you know perfected the exact jiggle I've got it fairly jiggle, jiggly at the moment probably too jiggly but you can see it uh, you know it jiggles jiggle 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 <laughs> okay so what we've got here is my my model let me just load that wire shader there we go that's a little better so basically what we've got here, this is my completed one with the butt bones added. You can see these little sort of pegs, these little hooks on the left and the right uh, thigh bone that have been added. Those are what we're going to add here on to our model today. I'm going to fire up another model. Basically, like I say, Daz Skeleton comes with these for the breasts, as you can see somewhere up there. We got the, we got the, uh, where is it? There's that somewhere in there. There we go left pectoral and right pectoral. So Daz Skeleton has those left and right pectoral bones for the breasts, but it does not have these. So we're going to add these for the butt. And then, like I say, you can hang the butt off of those using your in Unreal Engine uh, and create, you know, jiggly butt physics. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so switch to the back view of your Daz model. Uh, you're going to want to head over to your tool settings and go to Geometry Editor here from Geometry Editor. What we will do is we will uh, start selecting the butt area. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so basically all you need to do is kind of draw out the butt. Basically just kind of draw out the polygons and it would be helpful to of course be in like a wireframe shaded, oops. So basically, uh, what is it? Control, click, unselects and, sh uh, sorry, Alt, click, unselects and Control, click, adds to so if you need to add to or remove from your selection, you can just kind of do it like that. Basically what we're doing is we're tracing out what we want to be affectored by, by the bone. Basically what part we want to, to jiggle, <laughs> basically. Um, depending on your needs and preferences and what you're trying to do here. Uh, of course, this technique applies to, you know, the butt, but you can also use it for, I don't know, you can make a nice round Santa belly or Nice round jiggly Santa Claus belly or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you want to add bones to and for, that's what you can. You can definitely use this same technique. So I'm just going to select all the polygons here that I want to be able to affect. And you know what? I think I might take out a few here. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. It's uh, not exact. Not an exact, uh, exact, exactity. I think that should be pretty, pretty good okay now with everything that you want selected right click and go to geometry assignment create a face uh, create face group from selected uh, we can go ahead and give that a name left bum that's what I'm gonna call mine you can call yours whatever you want there we go now we have the left bum and when you do that we will see the uh, left bum group appear under face groups of our yeah okay now we are gonna do the same thing over on the uh, right side we're going to want to make sure everything is the same as the left side it would be nice if we could just copy that over but uh, let me just switch back to back view to make sure everything is nice and even and consistent you want to get screwed up by perspective mode that's not what we want to do all right let me just select 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 all right you guys are probably doing this along with me so i'll just do a little select select in here and uh see who gets done first it's a race whoever wins is whoops the winner that's how it works <laughs> remember control click to add and uh, alt click to remove from 
uh, your selected polygons. Tick a dock, tick a dock, too. Boop, boop, ba doo. Let's see, I get them all. Maybe I'm gonna do a quick check with uh, perspective mode. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so remember now we're going to uh, right click again anywhere and uh, geometry assignment, create phrase group from selected, and this will be the right bum. And now we should see the right bum again with a count of 90 polygons. You can use that little count indicator to make sure you are consistent from side to side. Okay, let's now create some bones. So go ahead to this little uh, pull down from your tool settings and go to joint editor. Uh, you will want to have the uh, female genesis character selected. Uh, unfold hip, go to pelvis. Okay, so we got pelvis selected. Go ahead and right click and create child bone uh, we will call this child bone left a bum left bum the label will happen automatically uh, you can of course name it and label it these are two separate things unique to daz daz of course has full names for its joints but they're not necessarily its short name which you might see in something like Ireal. so what we're going to want to also select is the um the y uh, where is it uh Y, X, Z. That's what we're going to want to select. And from there, we can go ahead and, and click Accept. So as you can see over here, we have our new left bum bone. Now what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go ahead and create a right bum bone as well. So click Pelvis. Uh, I'm going to do these both at the same time. It has to do with positioning, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So let's go ahead and create a child bone. We'll call this one right bum. And same, uh, what was it? Uh, y... X, Z, Y, X, Z. Same uh, rotation order as the pelvis, Y, X, Z. <clears throat> so now I've got my left bum and my right bum, and now we're going to uh, position these where we want them to go. Okay, with your left bum bone selected, uh, go ahead and right click. Make sure that you have align set to auto align a node. That's a good thing. Align, did I unselect it? Yes, I did. There we go. Back to auto align. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drag over the top of that bone roughly to about here. Yeah. Uh, then we will go ahead and drag the bottom part of that bone roughly to about here. Yeah. Uh, we've kind of matched up the point there. This is not necessarily needing to be perfectly exact. Um, good enough is good enough. It's kind of eyeing it up, so that's okay. We can go ahead and drag that top bit down somewhat, maybe put it over a little to the left or something like that. So we're just kind of creating a bit of a, a bit of a hook is what we're kind of creating here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to the left view. Let's see, where are we? Left bum view. There we go. So I'm going to grab it from there and kind of bring it towards the back. All right, I'm actually bring that back just a bit, a bit more so it's kind of up. Oh, Clickety click. There we go. Just kind of to the end point. I'm actually actually going to also bring this part out, kind of like so. So we're kind of like in line with like the bum bum part here. It doesn't actually need to be touching the previous joint or anything like that. And that's looking, I think, pretty good right there. But basically, now we've kind of got something like this. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, should be should be fine. We will now have to do the same thing with the right bum bone. Now, for your guys' convenience, I have actually, if you check out over on the left and the right, if you want to kind of use my same settings and just kind of set this up uh, in the way that I have kind of previously tested, we can actually punch in some values. I'm going to actually grab for you uh, the values that I used specifically in case you don't want to try to manually align both bones to be equal. But again, it doesn't have to be perfectly equal. So here's Here's the left bum. You can kind of screen, uh, pause the video here and copy those values over if you want to. Basically, just copy all those values over onto your left bum. And uh, here is the... Uh, where is it? Uh, left? Nope. Right. Well, there we go. Here is the right bum. So you can also copy those uh, values over. Da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da. Pause the video and, uh, yep, just copy those over if you want to get precise alignments. Or feel free to just, you know, line them up yourself, however you think you want to do them. That should be pretty fine, pretty okay. When you are happy with your bone placement, go ahead and click uh, right-click, rather click Memorize, and then Memorize Figure Rigging. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, position your right bone now, uh, and then just remember to, at the end of it, go ahead and select the bone and Memorize Figure Rigging. 
If you copied and pasted over my values, it'll look something like that. If you use your own, go ahead and align the right bum now as well. A right bum bone, basically just select it from the list over here and uh, kind of eye it up. Get it over there kind of approximately where it needs to be. I'm going to use my exact values, which I figured out to sort of align uh, inconsistency. There we have our bum bones in place. All right, let's keep going. Okay, next head over to our note weight map brush uh, in the tools uh, menu. Go ahead and click on general weights. You need to click general weights uh, for this to apply. What we're going to do is we're going to go and select type mode something. We're going to select something here. Selection. Select. No, what are we doing? <laughs> select something. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Selection mode. Geometry. There we go. Geometry selection. Uh, select by face groups left bum there we go so now we got our left bum selected which we previously set up okay now make sure you got general weights highlighted over here right click again somewhere go to weight editing and fill selected we're gonna do a 60% uh, weight fill here just change that from 100 to 60 if it is not go ahead and click accept and you should see something like that all right Okay, now we're going to smooth out these polygons. What I'm going to show you first quickly, if you head on over to parameters, you can see now that we've got some interesting things going on. We can move that bone around and it brings the uh, brings the butt uh, with it. So what we want to do is we actually want to smooth out that interaction a bit. You can see it's kind of stiff. So back into tool settings, click the smooth uh, little guy right there. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to kind of trace, trace around here. We're just going to gonna color this in same as before uh, control and or alt uh, highlights or oops that was the wrong one so that was alt that I was holding down to basically unselect things and control adds to it actually does it no just clicking adds to it and then alt clicking removes from it so you can just kind of trace around and we're kind of setting up the area of, of polygons that are is going to be smoothed uh, when there's sort of deformation to the butt, basically when it gets rotated or moved or jiggled around because I don't know what you guys are making butt bones for, but I'm making them for jiggly physics. I don't know what else you might make butt bone jiggly physics. I have butt bones for, but jiggly physics is one. Maybe there's other uses. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm just going to kind of do that a little bit. Just kind of make that a little bit like so. All right, so let's take a look back at the parameters and see. As you can see, that's looking better already, right? It's not quite as harsh. So one thing you can do is sort of deform a little bit and then kind of like, all right, where is it Where is it not really uh, looking right? Like, where do I want to smooth that out? And you just kind of like uh, smooth down some of those polygons a bit. You can set that back to its normal value. Maybe shift on the Y, X or Y rotate a little bit and see where it's not... Uh, not kind of like smoothing and just kind of artistically smooth things out a little bit not too much not too dramatic just kind of a little bit of smoothing out and yeah just kind of deform stuff around a little bit until you're kind of happy that's not looking too bad right look how much smoother that is now turning right so you just kind of look for oops, look for areas where where you're not too happy with how it's bending shaping twirling etc and then yeah go ahead and set your physics back to a uh, so but that is basically it. Gentlemen and ladies, don't forget to do your right side bum. We're going to go, of course, into the uh, weight editor, node weight brush map, and we will uh, geometry selection to clear selection, and then we can, uh, what was say, geometry selection. We need to, need to, of course, do the same thing on the right and the left. So geometry selection, select by face groups, right bum, right bum selected. Uh, and then, of course, we will want to make sure we're clicked over here. That's highlighted. And we can go ahead and go to Weight Editing, Fill Selected, 60%. Now we got it nice and, and weighted. Uh, and, uh, and then, of course, we want to smooth out the edges to create a nicer, a nicer seam, as it is, a nicer uh, stretch of the nicer polygonal, polygonal, light. Just make it smoother. That's what we're going to do. So we're gonna, Smoothie mix smooth. Duck, 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 duck. That's it, guys. Uh, once you have done your right side, you're good. You're done. You can export your model. You can use your model. You can, I don't know, look at your model. You can just do whatever you want. You got your bum bone. I right? go and create jiggly physics. Check out my channel uh, on how to create boob physics if you want to know how to create bum physics. It's the same. 
basically this exactly the same except you add your uh, your shapes to your um, to your uh, to your left and right bum bones instead of your left and right pectoral bones so that's it hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'm just gonna kind of smooth this out and finish it off and color day that's it that's it we're done okay see you guys later